Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel and you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes and today we're going to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. That's right, we're going to space. We're going extraterrestrial. We're gonna have spare terrestrials and space balls. Watch out. What's the first level got for us here among the stars? Hit the space bar. Uh, I think it's a little early for a drink, but thank you much. Looks like we've got plenty of ways to do this. If we feel so inclined, we've got 10 of everything except for jumpers. Even 10 super limbs, which is, uh, there's 60 lemmings, so, uh, having only 10 of them get capes, that seems like an unfair distribution of skills. Okay, I think, where are we going, where are we trying to make it to? I, we're trying to make it to Space Door here, this, uh, dimensional gate, it would seem. Um, so, they're gonna walk down here, and then... Go to the left, and then, and then what? Uh, this seems fairly simple, uh, I would think. We're going to be mortaring our way out, possibly. Uh, you know, they say when you, when you use a mortar in space, nobody can hear you scream. So I think we're going to be just kind of mortaring our way to the exit. That seems simple enough. Let's, let's get this going here. Can we, can we cut this? We have enough mortars to, yeah, cut through this entire, well, you know. Oh, so we've got this kind of blue Danube thing going on here. Hey, somebody, oh, okay. We're getting this blown out then, that's, that's fine. Totally fine by me. Let's, so as long as he doesn't go to the left. All right, let's, uh, uh, you need to go a different way, my friend. Or, oh, no, you don't. You can just walk wherever, okay. What? How is that not? Oh, it's like dark gray. Okay, that's weird. Okay, well, no problem. No problem mortaring the rest of it. There we go. All right, we've got a good thing going here. So he's going to walk up against the wall, and wow, that was easy. Just mortar. Doesn't quite have the same ring as just dig, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, stun everybody out. That was... That was pretty simple. So we got we get a sense of the decorations here. That looks like it might be a trap to watch out for later. The space saucer, the UFO. All right, we, we're done. We're done stunning people. Phaser set on stun. Be careful out there, Mr. Spock. You don't know. You don't know what kind of lemmings you're gonna encounter. Oh, I love the little somersault into the exit. <laughs> That's a cute little animation well that was a pretty simple level to start the space tribe i'm i'm feeling good about it already let's move on there definitely no definitely no tricks like audex powder with the dinos flinging you everywhere so this might be a slightly easier tribe than than cave limbs perpetual motion we got oh the magno booter returns i bet we're gonna be using oh oh we have one exploder that's oh well, I hope we can get through without using the Exploder, but, oh, man. You know, space is a rough place. You know, not everybody is cut out for... Not everybody is cut out for the horrors of the Void. So, let's see what happens, I guess. Uh, what have we got? So, Magno Booter. Okay. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, okay. Alright. You know, this is not really a very spacey-sounding song, if I'm being honest. Okay, this this little Ed two o nine over here looks like a looks like a death thing. Okay, so we're trying to get to right here then. All right. Um. Yeah, I can kind of see where maybe. Okay, so he's gonna be walking around the way. Let's see here. Okay, they're gonna go up into here and be contained, I think, by this little by this little how do you do. Well, that makes me feel pretty good. Um, let's see then. Okay, so if they go around... So how are we going to get them out? We're going to use fillers to get them out mostly, but I think what we want to do is get around here somehow. Alright, which is... How are we going to do that? We're not really going to... It's going to be difficult to jump off of a surface... Maybe we do have to use an exploder to get to a surface that the Magno Booter won't work on. Okay, so let's let's try let's try letting him Magno Boot. Okay, that guy's gonna go around his merry way. Oh, we don't have much time to do this one. Only three minutes, so that is a going concern. 
around. Okay, he can walk around that little structure there. That's that's definitely an idea. Alright, so what have we got then? How are we gonna get him off of the How are we gonna get him off of the ceiling? We're gonna go. Let's see. Okay, yeah, filling this up at the end will be just fine because it'll take two fillers max to get everybody out. So, mm, I'm gonna try for, I'm gonna see something here. I'm gonna see if this works. Okay. Oh, that's just plain steel. Okay, you can't blow through that. Okay, well, that scuttles that idea then. Um, so yeah, what are we, okay, so the, the caution tape is steel. Good to know very good to know so how are we gonna get the magno booter to drop off uh, I don't think you could do it with a jumper um, let's see then let's let's let him go ahead I don't think you can jump off of surfaces that you're upside down on unless space is different somehow uh, let's see five platformers as well that's an idea Oh, let's see if building a platformer lets him fall off the incline there. Why would we use the fan? To keep blowing him forward? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try using a platformer to get him to fall. No, that doesn't work. How about a filler? No, nope, can't do that from there. No, nope, can't do that either. Yeah, you, you definitely can't jump off surfaces that you're upside down on. Okay, yeah, so maybe you gotta do that, like... Okay, so maybe there's an incline there. I've used up a lot of time. Maybe I need to get two lemmings going here with the magma boot. Okay, so maybe I do have to make one explode to make a surface that's not walkable. Alright, let's try that. I think we might have to make something that's not walkable with the magma boot. The Magno Boot always seems fun in theory, but it's a little more confusing than you might think. Okay, we're gonna do one exploder and then see if he falls off a weird looking circular thing. And if that gets us to gold, then I'm fine with it. But, okay, let's go ahead and explode him. Okay, yeah, can he... Ah, he can still navigate that. Well, then, what are we supposed to be doing here? This is only the second level. It's probably something super easy that I'm missing, but I guess I need to look at it longer. I did not think he would navigate a circular surface so easily. Oh, that's not steel. Oh, well, then how come nothing happened when I exploded on the other side of it? Oh, well... That changes things a little. Because now, I can get one to go over. So yeah, so now I have to now I have to challenge some assumptions. Okay, it, I thought this might be a trap over here, but it's kind of pointed in an odd spot. Maybe it's solid object. It's so hard to tell sometimes what's solid and what's not in this game. That's really the only major complaint I have about this game right now. I don't even have a problem with some of the jank stuff like the cannon. Uh, so, okay, so you, so if you go, alright, let's platform across this thing, alright, and since we're going to be doing an exploder, let's send another one, okay, yeah, that's solid, alright, well, alright, that certainly works, I suppose, okay, so now we got to get him walking in a place, alright, he has to go to the left to accommodate this, Okay, so now I think this might be a pretty good spot to start from. We'll end you with a jumper. Okay, can I clear that pit? Well, yes. Shouldn't matter where I jump from. I don't have to, like, jump from up here or anything. So, yes, I can clear that pit very easily. Oh, gosh, but the time is... The time is running out. You don't have... Boy, space got crazy quick. I don't have much time to get this done. Okay, but they should all fall out, and I think, well, hopefully that's a safe. I don't see how that wouldn't be a safe 
a safe fall. Like, I don't have anything that can... I don't have anything that can make that easier. So, let's go ahead and start filling up the place with sand. Okay, yes, some go out to the left, some go out to the right. It's a whole thing. And then they all go out to the right. Okay, then that's fine. Okay, yeah. And they all go out to the left because they all fell in Okay. What a weird level. I'm not... Wait, what? Why don't they walk out over the thing? Oh my gosh, come on, man. Get it together. Well, we're barely making it out of this one in time. And I hope it's gold. When you have one exploder... Oh gosh. We have 13 seconds for you to get up and truck your way to the truck your way to the space portal. There we go. Wow. Man, I cut that one fine. Okay, it is gold. All right. So we did have to kill one and pretty early on I might add. So, yeah, space uh, space is a dangerous place indeed. Do not take the void lightly. Not now, not ever. Respect space. Acknowledge space. Fear space. The lemmings have landed. Well, hopefully they have landed in the exit. We have fencers. Uh, nothing we haven't seen before. Oh, we got a runner, though. We got a runner. We got a runner. <laughs> He's running. So, yeah, I bet we're going to be using him, definitely. Runners. Uh, haven't seen the runner in a minute. Uh, ever since that uh, traumatic sports level, I think. I think they've... I think they've avoided putting too many runners in our face. Oh, okay. Well, is the runner necessary? Okay, so he's going to be rock climbing and slide. Ah, uh, the rock climber slider combo. That's certainly a thing. Okay. So, can you go over... Okay, exit's here. That's going to get us to... Where? So, and we have the fencer, who's probably going to, we have a platformer that's going to hold them up right here, I bet. How are we going to get them out through here? Everything is surrounded by steel, so I'm going to be stomping some stuff out also, looks like, maybe. Uh... This is steel, correct? It, it's got the little rivets like it's steel. Okay, let's send a guy ahead. Not sure of the need for a runner at this point. Okay, so you go, and where can you... Where can you go to? Can you climb on the underside of the thing here, or do I need to have you jump? Okay, yeah, you just hang there, and then you fall. And I'm pretty sure you're stuck in here now, because... Okay, you can climb on the underside of that, so I don't have to do any special digging there, it doesn't look like. But now you're dead. Yeah, that's steel. Okay, good. Okay, just as I thought, just as I thought, but just needed to just needed to test it out. So we're gonna go ahead and then you're gonna jump to maybe this is why you have to be a runner. Can you clear this jump height? Okay, you can. Alright, nothing nothing doing there. That's good. Alright, so we're going to be jumping. I feel like you're going ahead for a reason. How would you be... What would you be doing? How will you be freeing your compatriots, though, in the meantime? I don't see ropes. We don't have ropes. How are y'all... How are y'all going to get free, then? Are you going to have to just dig your way out? They can't fence through the steel there. Okay, we're going to have to maybe stomp and then fence this way. Oh, maybe the platformer goes over here. Oh, okay. I think I'm seeing a I think I'm seeing a direction here. Okay, so we're all going to stomp down this way, I think. Okay, y'all are going to be stomping in the meantime. That seems fairly certain. Okay, alright, alright. I'm seeing it a little bit. Okay. Okay, Woo hoo Ooh, that was a risky jump. Okay, but we're going to be taking hops. Okay, uh, hopefully I did not start too early with this. Okay, we're getting owies. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, you're going really low there. You're going really low. Ah, yeah, I started too early with that. 
Ah, uh, yeah, we can't be having that. But now that lemmings are dying, I just want to see if this is a... Okay. Alright, I want to see if that's viable. Uh-oh. And that's also... Oh, yeah, you need to slide. That's right. You need to slide once you get up there. So you're going to hit steel, right? Okay, so this is going to require another stomp, I think. To get them out. Okay, so yeah, we're going to stomp fence... Oh, oops. Yeah, we're going to stomp fence, stomp fence, I think, to get them out there. So that he hops over. He's going to need to shimmy over to here. And then put... Oh, yeah. Well, everybody's dead now. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've made this tribe extinct. How did I... How did I let this happen? Oh, no. I'm the worst living savior. <laughs> Alright, I think in the interest of speeding this up, I'm just going to make you a runner now. And also that way I can uh, make my jumps. There we go. Okay, so you climb up. You don't climb any faster, which is a little bit unfortunate. So, but once you get around the incline... Okay. Whoa! Oh no, now you're facing left. That's bad. Okay, so running too soon probably then. Okay, here is where you become a slider. So, yes, that's a fatal drop, so we need to do that. There we go. Slidey, slidey. And then bop over the way there. Oh, okay. All right, good. Oh, well, you can climb onto walls while jumping. Well, that solves that little issue right here, then. So, you're going to go down there. And I think I'm going to start needing to make you a runner right here. You have a big, long expanse. To run along here so I think you're gonna need to run here to get the height on your jump to shimmy here so do I have everybody out now I have everybody out now so I can start stomping okay you start the stomp all right everybody's getting down okay everybody's getting down just like they should okay good all right so now you're going to bop across to here all right danger airlock don't get sucked out. Okay, so now we're going to start. We're going to start booking it. Book it, book it, book it. Okay. One shimmier. One shimmier needs to climb across the ceiling. He needs to climb across the ceiling. Yes! Okay, he's got that height. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so. So now. Actually, he can probably. Let's see. Do I need to stomp fence, stomp fence? I've got lots of fencers. I think I can probably manage this from here. Okay, so you need to you need to bop down. Can I just jump off? No, I can't. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Uh, how about if I make you a fencer? Okay. Oh, you just go there. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay, that, that makes sense there. So now you... There. Oh, gosh. I forgot how stressful it is to make runners. Okay. Okay, so now as soon as you finish up this... Beep, beep, beep. Ah! What? No, you son of a gun. That was really quick. Boy, you, uh, you got fancy. Uh, and now there's nothing I can do about that. So maybe... Maybe, hopefully, they can extract themselves. They're just going to go up into steel here. So, I have plenty of... I have plenty of spares. So, they're not going to... I don't think he's going to kill himself. Okay, good. Alright, that's good. Okay, I was afraid he might kill everybody by fencing off to the left. But, apparently, not such a problem. Uh, but what the problem might be here is... Okay, we're going to need somebody doing... Okay, you're pretty far away from your comrades. I'm going to have you stomp and then go fencing. No, 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 no. Why? Why isn't it the same as in Lemmings? Why can't they just... Why can't I just assign the stomper to start fencing? It would have been much easier if this guy had done his job, but he was in such a big damn hurry. Good grief. All right, one, two, three, you're done. Okay, there. Woo! Golly! Okay, and now... Okay, yeah, no gap there. The runner is doing his job precisely as he is supposed to. 
Okay, I think I've got it this time. Okay, and I should be able to... He may hit steel, but it may make a gap. I'm going to go ahead and fence out. I'm going to have him meet in the middle. A little meeting of the minds here, and perfect. Boom, done. Okay, and then he should slide down and be just fine. And, well, he sure does love that left wall. Sure, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, buddy, as long as you, all your friends get out safely. All right, well, space is proving surprisingly tricky so far. I'm, I have to say, I am ever so slightly shooketh by how much trouble space is giving me right now. But, you know, it's still not too bad. It's still not too bad. Um, I have to say, really, about the Magno Booter, the potential of the Magno Booter... I think there's so much more potential there, and it's just getting wasted on, like... You know, we've only seen it twice, and both times it's just been like, eh, really? Uh, probably, probably my most... Most, uh, most wasted potential award. That's the one he's holding up right now. The most wasted potential medal goes to the Magno Booter.